I want you to listen to the meatheads who have, uh, who have fat for brains. I want you to listen to some of these people. Now, there's one, Chris Van Hollen. He's a detestable representative from Maryland, right outside of Washington, D.C., a Democrat hack. As a matter of fact, he's in charge of electing as many status Democrats as possible in the House, like he did last time. He's a complete jackass, as you can imagine. Well, they had a press conference today on misinformation about health care. That is, those of us who are trying to explain to you what's being stuck in these bills. And there's something wrong with us. Here's the creep. Cut 10. Go. Uh, and I think that if you look at some of the other uh, paid media uh, that people are seeing on television, you see people uh, on board. Uh, at the same time, you've got a lot of misinformation uh, uh, coming out of, uh, you know, far right wing radio, talk radio, uh, and other outlets. And we need to make sure we get the message out there through our members as well as through these allied organizations that support health care reform. And we're confident that uh, the American people will support this legislation. We come home and we're going to make sure that health care reform now is not. Shut up, swift idiot. Voted. Shut up. Shut up. Swift voted. You, 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 uh, you've got so many polled phrases. You're like a, a trained monkey. You're like a trained monkey. Hey, what other phrase should we use? Swift voted? Far right wing? Hate? Hey, let's get the insurance companies in there, too. I'll get more to that in a second. So this idiot, Chris Van Idiot. So now we are far right wing hate talk radio. What does far right wing mean, anyway? Was James Madison a far right winger who hated? How about Benjamin Franklin, another far right winger who hated? What about John Adams, far right winger who hated all those founders who gave us the greatest constitution the earth has ever known? Far right wing haters, I guess. You dumbass. You don't even know what you're attacking or even why. You're a trained monkey, Chris Van Hollen. Yes, we want to listen to more love radio. That's right, far left wing love radio on Air America. Gee. All those lovely, moronic, pathetic, you know what's on Air America that nobody listens to. Or some of those great, great news anchors for the far left wing, like John Leibowitz and Stephen Colbert. Oh, love TV and love radio. Now, they call us far right wing and haters. And yet when I expose them as Marxists, as I've been doing now for a very long time, what? You call them a Marxist? How the hell can you do that? All right, socialist. Wait a minute. How can you call them a socialist? So I lump them all together and reintroduce the word statist, which you hear everybody using now. Okay, statist. Statist? What the hell's that? Tone it down. Be polite. Show respect. You far right wing haters on radio. Uh, Chris Van Idiot, let me tell you something. We are in your face. And we're not going anywhere. Let me explain something to you, jerk. You work for us, all of us. You chameleons in the Democrat Party, you don't get to operate in the shadows without the public knowing about it. You don't get to ram crap in these 1,000-page, 1,300-page bills that affect my parents, that affect my children, that affect my nation without hearing from us, you coward. And let me tell you something else. When you weasels and cowards go back to your districts, your little town hall meetings, your little campaign stops, you're going to hear from us. We will be polite, but we don't like what you're doing, and in some cases, we don't like you, you jerk. Now, they have a whole strategy for dealing with us, the citizens of this country, for dealing with their own constituents. This is from Politico. Screaming constituents, protesters dragged out by the cops, congressmen fearful for their safety. Welcome to the new town hall style meeting, the once stayed form that is rapidly turning into a house of horrors for members of Congress. On the eve of the August recess, members are reporting meetings that have gone terribly awry, marked by angry, sign carrying mobs and disruptive behavior. Oh, I see. So when the left is carrying signs, attacking the Jews, attacking Bush, attacking the war, 
they're to be respected. As a matter of fact, their First Amendment rights are to be lauded. When people who reject what's going on in Washington now attend town hall meetings, including men and women who serve in the military, and dare to speak up and dare to question this member, then there's something wrong with our country. Acorn does whatever it wants. Do you hear the left complaining? No, they're funding them with our tax dollars. The Black Panthers have two thugs at a polling place in Philadelphia threatening voters with batons. And what does the Attorney General of the United States do? Gives them a pass. But by God, we're going to shut down the taxpayers and the citizens of this country who go to a town hall meeting to question their representative. That we cannot tolerate. That's hate right-wing radio behind that one. Citizens who've never been active before are active now. You, you, the Patrick Henrys of this country, you are becoming active. And the political elite are scared and they don't like it. And so they call you names. Right-wingers. But well, we don't take lectures from Marxists and their progeny. No, we own this damn country. And it's about time they figured that out. And we'll keep reminding them. We own this country, you jackass. You're there in Congress because somebody had the, the bad judgment to put you there. But you don't get to organize against us. You don't get to strategize against us. You go to a town hall meeting, we're not going to kiss your ass. We're going to ask you questions. And you damn well better start answering them. Before you destroy our health care system, before you destroy our, our energy system, before you destroy our currency and the full faith and credit of this country, you damn right you're going to answer to us. We're sick and tired of you spitting on our Constitution. Gee, Mark raised his voice. Isn't that horrible? Well, screw you who don't like it. Go put on national public radio where they all sit there, the drones, and all sound the same. Who get a sinecure from the government. Sit there and, and, uh, and salute every damn politician who shows up on their show. Not here. Not here. Politico goes on. The targets in most cases are House Democrats, who over the past few months have tackled controversial legislation, including a $787 billion economic stimulus package. That was no stimulus package. That was a screw you package. A landmark energy proposal. Landmark energy. Who the hell wrote this? A landmark energy proposal destroying our access to reliable energy is landmark. It's not landmark. That's suicide. And an overhaul, the nation's health care system, right, an overhaul. We call that nationalizing it and turning it over to the government. Well, we're not all drones yet. Oh, there are plenty around us, but not all of us. And I have been saying and saying and saying again, we won't go down quietly. We will be respectful. We will be law-abiding. We will be civil, but we will be there. We believe in liberty. We reject tyranny in every form, whether it's a soft tyranny or otherwise. And I know there's some on our side, some Benedict Arnolds who don't quite see it or do see it and who are trying to undermine us. They are irrelevant. They do not matter. They are a diversion. No more go along to get along. Go along with what? This? Go along with the destruction of our very institutions? that generation after generation fought for and handed to us. And we're going to piss it away? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think we're up for this battle. We are on the ascendancy. They are on the descendancy. And we need to have the good sense to chase them out of town politically. Yeah, we're nuts. Something's wrong with us. The left-wing freaks who are always protesting always attacking law enforcement, always attacking the military, always trashing our Constitution, burning the American flag in the streets, defending the terrorists. They're normal, right? They're regular citizens, right? We should all salute them and defend their free speech right. But damn it, when we decide to organize and speak out, there's something wrong with us, right? No, it's not right. You have not heard the last of us, damn it, Chris Van Jerk. You have not heard the last of us. In fact, sir, 
you have unleashed a force in this nation you don't quite grasp yet. None of you leftists grasp what you're doing. You have unleashed a force. You have awakened the silent majority. And we will be silent no more. No more. 